We're interested in Chlamydomonas algae, and it is a model organism that is useful in understanding how plant biology works. And we have been involved with this research in, with a mentor, Steve Stephanidis, and he has helped us get involved in different kinds of research. The current project is to build an apparatus that allows us to give specific amounts of UV and visible light to the Chlamydomonas algae, which will allow us to experiment and understand how the DNA repair mechanism works in Chlamydomonas. We have kind of gotten to the point where we just want to know more specifically Okay, what are the levels that these cells, um, the Chlamydomonas cells, how much damage can they actually take and survive? We thought that the best way to do this would be to make our own apparatus of sorts to just keep control of the system. The apparatus came about when Steve Stephanidis was asking me about the next steps of this project, like where do we need to go, how do we do this? And the idea came that we need to titrate. I probably just learned about titrating in chemistry, honestly, like that quarter. <laughs> so we were thinking, how do we titrate the visible light and the UV light at the same time? Because as we had it right now, we had to do UV at one time, stop, and then do visible light for recovery. But we wanted to see what would happen at the same time. I literally have drawings of like an apparatus, like what are we going to do? We're going to have UV underneath, we need a shaker, and then we need visible light coming from above. And actually now we have it the opposite way where we have UV coming from above and visible light underneath. So that's kind of how it started, just an idea and some drawings and some more thinking, some collaborating, science. We are trying to build something that's never been built before, and it is definitely a hit and miss, trial and error kind of project. The idea at the end is to have, a, we have a prototype apparatus, but we want to have some kind of production model where we can use this apparatus and let, allow others to use this apparatus to study uh, Chlamydomonas or other organisms in a very controlled manner so that they can examine uh, UV exposure and visible light exposure, um, which can help with understanding DNA repair as well as other things. Just figuring out what needs to get done might be the hardest part, like what the, ne uh, the next logical step in the project is. You know, I have uh, a degree in biology and I'm working in, in the biology field so I know the scientific process, but then actually going and designing, um, kind of going into engineering is a little bit outside of my, my realm of, of study. So that's been a, a fun challenge to, to try and overcome. It was just really cool that all these different things could come together on one project because it is actually involving experiments rather than just creating something you have to be able to make it work, you have to be able to use it.